Right, so this question says, why are routable components replacing controllers and views in Ember 2.0? So controllers actually predate uh, the concept of components in Ember. Right. And what we observed as components became more and more important is that at least 80% of the use case for controllers in Ember is actually combining them with an old school view to right. produce something that is fundamentally component. So view does the drawing logic, controllers do more like application state logic, but I think that concept really confused people. Like people when they're learning Ember just didn't have a really strong intuition about what code went in the view and what code went in the controller. Yeah, and I think that's because of the fact that conceptually it's just the component. Right. And so when you eliminate all the use cases for controllers that are basically just about producing a component, what you have left is more easily represented as like a session um, service. Or, or services. Yeah. Um, and, and really those cases together don't mm -hmm. justify having a top of the concept like a controller. And I think one thing that really annoyed people is that in the controller, you have this kind of tight link somewhat to the DOM. Like you have this template which generates DOM, and you have the controller, but you can never actually access the DOM from the controller. Yeah, like actions don't get the event object, right. for example, and people would want to cancel or things like that. Right, so a component is a way of basically creating a single concept that describes here is a portion of the UI that you can write some behavior for, that you can put properties in, et cetera. And I think, you know, I think we try to really simplify the framework as we get better ideas into it. And it became obvious, well, wait a minute, a component is really just like a combo view and controller. So why do we need two concepts when one And I one think for us do? in general, it's just really important to start where, with where we are and then um, always look to find ways to simplify without just drastically changing everything. So the controller change is going to be done in stages. And uh, it's not like controllers in general have no use. It's just that the concept is more easily represented it's as a component. different thing, yeah. Yeah, and I think. Uh, there, it's always been kind of conceptually strange that there's always this kind of like top level thing that contains your UI but isn't a component itself. Yeah, I agree. So what is it? Um, what's the what's the transition strategy here? Like how pe many people who are going to be watching this have apps that have views and controllers? So what do they have to do? Uh, so for the most part, it will be a matter of taking your controller and, and just moving it into a component. I think a lot of cases that will just work. Yeah. So um, so actually, when we were designing this API, we went and looked at our app. And we went through line by line a lot of our controllers, and we said, "How hard?" Would some it of them be? are pretty big. Yeah, right. some of these are quite big, and we said, "Okay, well, what would it take to refactor this into being a, top level a component? component?" And in many cases, it was literally just change controller to component. Yep. So I think that's that's one aspect. Uh, we're going to have a plugin so that for think for somewhat more complicated cases, you can just use a plugin, um, and. Uh, so there's the plugins, and then I think uh, we're going to start. Be, we're going to be landing routable components in One X yeah. as we go, so people can start kind of adopting them. Oh, I was, I, what I was going to say is that I think some of the cases where people are using controllers right now are not actually really about UI at all, and in those cases, uh, the new session concept, which we're going to be talking about soon, and uh, services in general, yeah. will be more appropriate. Cool. Sounds good.